What's up guys, this is The Rifeman, and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to pick up where we, off left, where we left off last time, I successfully managed to defend Lisbon from Spanish attack, and we've got reinforcements there ongoing, and the other big development is we are recruiting our first main fleet in um, in uh, Cadiz, in Mexico, in uh, Madrid. And I'm at somewhat of a loose end in terms of what to do. So a natural next step, I think, is or a step at some point, is to attack Genoa um, to secure my territory. However, that's not necessarily critical right now. I could maybe la launch some attacks against the Barbary states, um, but they're doing a good job, well, they'll be doing a useful job at pilfering and frustrating trade elsewhere in the region. Um, alternatively, what I could do, what I think I'm probably going to do, which is more likely, is to expand my operations in the Americas. Um, so I'll have the Americas pumping up troops to land and take um, Florida, and then that will give me a, um, a border with America. So if America wishes to then declare war on me, I will then move up and start expanding in Georgia and the Carolinas. All the while, hopefully, having navies from Europe come across to join me. And even better um, will be the idea that if I do declare war on the um, Americans, then that would mean that... Well, unfortunately, it will mean I will be at war with France. So that's something to be aware of, because they have a sizable contingent here in the Windward Islands, which could cause me some trouble. Um, but I could set, raise a force here in Texas and move into Louisiana, Louisiana and push into the Americas from this direction, which seems quite quite viable. And I could also land and take some more of these northern territories if I wanted to force a two-fronted war. And what's quite what would be quite nice to do, I think, is to raise a little force and to attack York Factory and well, to just take York Factory for now, um, because it's a little territory that will export some furs. And do I trade any furs? I do not, because there is not much fur in Mexico. Um, but yes, right now the plan is to um, expand my navy. Am I recruiting anything here? Nope. I'd like to recruit some trade ships and send some fleets out to the trade nodes to expand my uh, hold on resources. And ultimately, I'll probably need to recruit some form of garrison here in Mexico, not to fight off any um, raids, but because eventually I will be at war with France. Although, to be honest, they might be, well... I don't know, maybe if I declare, if I can see if I can make peace with Prussia. Because we don't need to be at war. And let's trade. Unfortunate. Peace, trade, and I'll give you the handful of copper sitting at the end of our treasury. Nope, fair enough. Um, Maybe, well, if I, if I, I, I can't request an alliance. Because I'd like to ally, if I ally with France and I declared war on America, I'd force them to make the choice. Um, But anyway think what I'm going to do is end turn because I'm still building a school in Madrid and they'll rapidly come to hate me for it but their resistance to foreign occupation is going to keep creeping down and lots of happiness buildings are being built because right now I'm on two universities and I would very much like three and as I have access to this a dry dock now I'd very much like to get steam engines but that's a very long way away I can go now and get machine tool oh no I'm not, it's not super far away but still I'm a good 20 odd turns away so let's hit end turn Let's get my uh, sorry. Let's get my agents on the go. I've got a I got a different keyboard, so maybe the uh, the clicking won't be quite so prominent. Yeah, Spain's going to keep trying to uh, disrupt my research, but yes, I think expanding in the Americas is, is the right direction. Um, potentially, well, Florida is the first step, I think, because it gives me that open front against the U.S. So if they wish to declare war on me then that's how we'll prosecute it. But at the same time, I would like to think they wouldn't declare on me for a handful of turns, and they would allow me to gain... Because um, I'd like to have a navy in the trade theatres, and at the same time have navies in, um, you know, off the coast of America to raid their ports, interfere with their shipping. Well, to be honest, if, if, if Prussia took... Paris, then I definitely would have to sue for peace because they would then be storming straight down towards me. Um, but if they took Paris, it would also make me less inclined to worry about them. But I would end up having to build a series of border forts, I think, covering the passes into Spain. 
Um, but nevertheless, the priority is naval expansion. And to be honest, I could actually do with expanding the dockyard in the Caribbean. Because I think right now, Britain is on first and second rate ships. I'm not sure about America. Oh, good, got some mines. I'm not sure about America. Could have a look. Because Britain in Portsmouth, it's a knackered fleet. But they do have lots of first rates. Very experienced first rates at that. And some heavy frigates. Um, America. Can I see any American ships? No, no. I don't think I'll be able to. Um, but that would be very useful to, to know what they've got. Um, so I think I believe our dockyard is... Do we even have a dockyard? No, we do. It's, it's over here, isn't it? Santo Domingo. Yep, it's in build. Good. Fleet arrives. Oh, yes. My first trade fleet into this region. Handful of fourths, so let's see how we get on. Good. Because what I would like is to have a set of trade ships, and then I'd like to have a main battle fleet in this area to help chase off any any um, sneaky sneaky people. Of course, my first fleet, La Corona, Gloris, Glorisio, and Del Vendorado. So let's get La Corona, recruit an admiral, Germain de... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not pronouncing that properly. So maybe here, let's recruit. I want to recruit some force just to give them a bit, a bit of local support. And then... Indiamen. Take them a long time to recruit this fleet, but more than happy to do so. More than happy for them to do so. Um, yep, yeah, but my main fleet is growing. So for lots of seconds, let's get... A handful of thirds, because right now mine's, my problem's a function of um, numbers as well as capability. Like, I think in, me in the immediate term, an expansion of thirds is probably not a bad shout, because there are still lots of fourths and um, fourths and fifths around. Good. So then you're getting bar shot. Cha grape shot. Sorry, that's not really a priority, but I've I'm only one turn away from it. Ooh, do I want marines? I probably want lime juice and sauerkraut. Reduce upkeep. And not bothered about the naval hospital just yet. I, I, I don't know. I need to have a look at what the ship differences are. Um, cause this one just recruits. I can get first. I can get first and heavy first. I can't get steamships, but I never really do steamships. But maybe I will do steamships this time around. But yeah, I do lime juice and sauerkraut to reduce upkeep. Good, you're replenished. And let's see if I can get you to assassinate this Spanish agent. Sorry, I've got lots of stuff on my desk. Um, this chap, yeah, it's WASD on this. Oh, I lost my general. No, I didn't. <sighs> General's in Madrid. Anything? Do I have a general there? I do. Well, you can just stand here for now, I suppose. This force needs to get back into Madrid. They are being taxed. My orc is developing, which I'll probably build into a trade port. They've got lots of people. Population growth is very, very good. Don't have to worry about that. Maybe let's go back over to the Americas. And I've got an army in Cuba. Santa Domingo. Where did I send them? Oh, I think I sent them over to... I sent them over to, the, to um, Europe, I believe. But I'm sure I had more armies than that. Sorry, I'll do a bit of... Oh, okay, so I'm sure there's a... I'm sure there's a way of... Armies... Where's he going? I'm not sure what I'm not sure what's going on here, but let's let's bring them back to port. Oh no no no! I think I'm oh I think I remember what I did, what I what I was doing with them, India. That's what I was doing. 
<laughs> like I've managed to bug the game out there. Um, okay, cool. So let's get back to here. So I've got an agent. I've got pre. Okay, so let's pick. I don't want to recruit from Mexico because their yeah public order is not great. And it will get, it's going to get worse when I try to build a uh, a um, modern university. So that's why I need. Oh, not growing again. Um, I'm going to leave it as. I'm going to leave things as as they are right now. There, not growing, but it's not a massive priority because I do have military barracks here in Cuba. Let's get them into that port to garrison that. Let's get ooh these Indiamen. Let's uh, keep firing these off to the East Indies to get spices into the region. But let's have a look at oh, slim pickings. Let's just get the general out here. And then let's bring you out. Because if I want to recruit a garrison troop or garrison force, I'll just use militia. And this chap is going to recruit on the presidential guard. Don't need them. Don't need cavalry. Let's get some howitzers, a couple of unit grenadiers, and some a handful of lines. Let's get some frontiersmen. Good. That's all my money exhausted. 48,000 gold per turn. It is absolutely cracking. So you got, you're going to get into Florida and have a look at what's going on down there. In there, sorry. Cool. In turn. Let's see what goes on. Basically, I, basically my, my job right now is just to pump out ships. That's the, the most useful thing I can actually do. Because that way it gets me mass in the trade theatres. It gets me mass on the coast. Particularly if I'm going to be at war with a naval power of some description. Either France or Great Britain or the USA. Which they may or may not be naval powers. I need to check that. But either way, lots of uh, sea power potential there. The Crimean Carnate being beasts, as bizarrely. Surprised they, I'm really surprised they've not been knocked out, but it looks like the Russians are trading away their territories at the back for short-term gain. It's Republican France. I think they've just lost a battle against Prussia. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, no. I need to make peace with Prussia fast. Did you see how many armies they sent streaming down towards Paris? Holy moly. If I didn't get on good terms with them, this would be Quagmire, so I think this might be an expensive turn for me in terms of diplomacy. But it'll be worth it, I think. Oh, Russia, don't do this. I'm not going to fight that. No way. Ah, oh, all my fleet is lost. Bit of a gamble. But they will not be laughing when I send my other big fleet in to wipe them off. So this is why I like to have trade, trade stacks. And I like to have um, actual actual navies nearby. Because otherwise that happens. And I know it kind of goes back to why don't I just build my navy? Why don't I build a force There's to a trade? But it just doesn't feel right to me. Select the type of port. So do you want a dockyard? I probably do want another dockyard. So I can churn out more ships at any one time. Yeah, that's you. You're the new port. Trade route raided. Heroic death, my admiral in the trade zone, fleet destroyed, path blocked. Alliance broken, interesting. Okay, so first and foremost, diplomacy, Prussia, open, request peace, trade agreement, I'll offer you seven lovely, maybe 10,000 grand. 41,000! How about 15,000? 41,000 to make them go away. First, I want to see what their stats are. So if, they, if I'm at peace with them, they're still at war with the Marathas, they're at war with Greece and Denmark and the Marathas, so they've got enough to keep them 
busy. Good God, the Marathas have taken Copenhagen. Or maybe they... Well, either way. How are, they, how are they doing with Austria? They might go to war with Austria at some point. Man, this is going to be expensive. Maybe I can give them a... I'll give you a technology and a handful of coin. Oh, it buys me three grand. I'm going to have to do it. Because I really do not want to be at war with them. God, that was a... Oh, I don't like doing that. I don't like giving away money. That was really expensive. Come on, Ottomans. Man, you are advanced. Let's see if I can buy a trade agreement off them or the Ottomans. <laughs> no! See if I can trade with the Americans. Huh. Might give me a bit of a look at their coastal settlement. Aha! Oh wow. Okay, so they do have they have got up to second rates. Gordon Dennison with an army of a pretty mediocre army to be fair. Good, but they do have lots of seconds, so that reinforces my decision to pick more to upgrade more um more of my um dockyards. Sloop of wars, brigs, bomb catch, privateers. Crew handful of Indiamen. Just keep them churning them out. This navy, good. Gonna get another handful of seconds. You're still gonna be on, on the go. Yeah, you're, you're gonna take a long time to produce that fleet. Good, so separation of powers. Obviously, it makes people unhappy. But, gotta be done. Okay, cool. In turn. Ah, this is in Madrid. Oh, so some of my recruitment. Quebec is moving south with a navy, with an army, sorry. If they're coming at me, that's going to suck. That's going to really come out of nowhere. And if they do, if they do attack me, then my plan to attack Florida is going to go away. I'm going to send a navy up there and attack Quebec. That's what's going to happen. Not that I'm vindictive or anything, you know. That's definitely not what's happening here. But, you know, I'm not going to take that sitting down. Not at all. Not at all. Hmm. Naples and Sicily could be a useful ally because they have quite a significant fleet. See, if I had good technology, I'd try to support France, but because it might be useful to keep um, keep France alive up on that northern border. Salamanca, good. You probably don't like that. Not superly, but still. So let's get you working on military tech or get some new elite infantry. To be honest, they may, I may as because it's so low tier at the minute, I'm going to keep them doing keep them going down low tier um, um, industrial tech so if I upgrade you I upgrade you you two are both fully upgraded yes yeah, so they're gonna go up by quite a lot but resistance to foreign occupation is gonna keep going down oh what what oh nuts that's not good at all. France has been destroyed, and I'm at war with Austria. Oh god, I'm gonna have to give away so much money for this. Okay, let's try. I could type it in, but I'm too lazy. There you go. I am not giving you Texas. So, that effectively means that 
you know, this force here, Fusileros can go back inside. To the units of howitzers can come out. The general can come out. The cav can come out. Then you're probably going to recruit a unit of cuirassiers. You need to go up here to respond to whatever they are going to send your way. And I'm going to send my rake up here as well to act as early warning. To be honest, all the rakes I all the rakes I spawn are going to go up there. Okay, so upgrade you. Upgrade the cloth mill. My navy's still expanding. And let's drop a few more second rates onto the end of that queue. Fleet arrives. You are going to run back to the Americas because you know the uh, the Russians are there. And then my other army is here. They are going to move in and capture Ceylon. Good, nice, quick, simple battle. Chomp. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. You and build walls. This is not an army I want to have here permanently. I would like to put a garrison. And I need to upgrade. Let's get you. Abundant yield, average yield, prosperous. Let's get some tea. Cloth mill gives me 1,050 plus 13 turn wealth. You give me 1,500. So yeah. You're going to be built. You're going to be repaired. You're being replenished. Good, good, good. So let's get back to Europe, where the, the, the headache is. Holy moly, because I might end up having to get stuck into a land war in Europe as it is. Ugh. Okay. Sure. Sure, all being recruited, raising forces desperately with what I can. So where's that? Oh, wow, I forgot about... The, okay, so that I need to claim as well, immediately, before anyone else does. Um, I'll probably wait for that, that army to be developed. Indian men. Okay, let's use this handful of fourths to go looking for that. Oh, they must have made it further south than that. Okay, you recover. My galleon. I'm confused as to where that galleon's gone. No, to, to where that fleet's gone. Let's pull them back. Indiamen's being recruited. Secondary ships to the line. Artillery. Grenadiers. Excellent. Ceylon's been captured to open up tea exports, which are fairly valuable. I'm making an absolute bucket load out of trade, so I need to capitalise that while I can. Is there anyone easy I can destroy? God, look at absolute junk um, Moroccan fleet. And a pretty hefty Genoan fleet. Oof. Construction, Salamanca, you've been upgraded. Sugar plantations at Krakow. In Curacao. Spain, lots of Spain, lots of Portuguese upgrades. You are being taxed. As are you. And then you're on the move. Research and tech. Do not do rights of man. Because minus six happiness is huge. So instead, let's get you back onto the military attacks and do new model bayonet drill. Let's get some grand, some different grenadiers and some guards infantry. Gives me charge bonuses as well. Or do I go hard down the artillery track? Track. I think I do. I want to get down to quick climb shells. Good. Hit and turn. So my plans to invade Florida might have been put on hold. Well, no. No, they're not going to be put on hold. Trade agreement to do... No. 
Is this where they do it? No? Okay. They've taken that little island that I wanted. Or well, they will do. I might be able to sneaky zerp and flirt my way in. So the Americans have sent a fleet somewhere. I'm just concerned about the Austrians, because right now I'm the only I've got a land border with them and I'm the only one that's not at war with the Ottomans or anyone else. So is this navy going to come along and try its luck? And blockade me? Well, I need to make peace with Prussia, Austria, somehow. Because I can't... Well, I don't I don't want to fight over Spain. Over um, France, sorry. Because if I do, well, I'm at peace with Prussia, which is good. But I don't want to have a protracted war in Europe. I mean, it was kind of inevitable when I took Spain. But it's still not my preference. I still want to focus in the Americas. <laughs> Great naval face-off. Okay. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to control. Okay, it's got dockyards. Let's upgrade you. Okay, dry dock. Good. So you start getting. Let's get a bunch of seconds. Admiral's flag ship. What's the difference between these two? One's slightly more accurate than the other, and is actually cheaper to recruit by a fraction then let's get regular third rate good so we've got another another navy being built up in this region backed up by a handful of fourths trade route raided yep yeah, the swines saratov oh no not you oh <laughs> And let's recruit. There you go. That should be good enough. Are you being taxed? Yeah, you are being taxed. Okay, this is going to get. This can get. Might get complicated quickly. <laughs> oh, damn. The Moroccans have blocked the strait. Or have they? If I do this... No, I literally can't. Unless I recruit, build dockyard, military dockyard here. So then I start to interfere with trade and... Hmm. Might be a plan, actually. Okay. Austria. Request peace. Counter offer. I'm not going to be happy about this. But what if I gave them... Ceylon. How about that? Good. It's unfortunate I've had to spend lives capturing it, but at least we are at peace. And they've actually got a uh, mediocre line infantry. There you go. So now we're now we're making money out of them. Not okay, not super happy about trading away regions, but I didn't think I had a choice. So let's get you. With any luck, if they're at war with the Marathas, then they will um, lose this fairly soon. Which is alright. Sucks I spent a lot of money upgrading it. Should have thought about that before I actually spent a load of money on it, but whatever. At least it means we are at peace. The trouble is though, this will only this will buy us some time. But not not enough. Anyway, let's move them up to here. And build a fort. And that fort I'm probably going to upgrade. This army is going to come back here and probably end up being shipped over to the Americas. Let's get over to the Americas. So you... I did pick up a unit of their militia, but whatever. Clamour for reforms going up by quite a lot. Radio, end turn. For me, 
peace in Europe is very valuable. I'm I don't want I don't want to fight in Europe. At least not till my position is even stronger in the Americas. I mean it's pretty strong now. But right now I have no real navy <laughs> protecting any of my trade. Oh man, I mean ah. Oh. Right. So, knock the plan for um, invading Florida on the head. Instead, go for the Louisianas. That's the plan. Because Florida's full of troops. And that's not good. But what is absolutely right for the taking? Louisiana. Both upper and lower. And again, it meets the same objective where I've have opened a border with the Americans. But the Louisianas are kind of valuable. Like, they're reasonably... You want an alliance? Ooh. I thought the Persians weren't happy with us. Yes, as I have no allies. <laughs> I know, and they're allied with Austria. So, Silong... It might mean they might drag me into some wars with Sweden, but, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. So, rakes in Spain. Okay, so let's get you over to Turin and keep an eye on what the Spanish are doing. Good trade saving gain. Agent detected. Fine. But first, let's get this fleet. Ilad Terrain. He will be the admiral of my next major fleet. That's what I'm going to do. He's going to go over there. Sit to Santa Domingo and become the general. Okay, so let's upgrade you. You stay in New Spain for now. This militia in it, you out. Can I recruit buccaneers here? No, sadly not. Good, let's get the navy embarked. Get the army embarked, sorry. And hit Louisiana. Because right now it's just useless rebels. Good. Build. Build a fort. Replenish. And then let's get on some good upgrades. Because Louisiana has lots of resources. And they have no roads. No roads. Migi yield sugar plantation. Let's get rid of the Jesuit college. Low yield tobacco. Average farmland. And a growing weaver's cottage. So not... Not the best, but not terrible either. So 11, 1600 is good, but we'll soon wrap this up when in the, it'll be ridiculously fast growing. Then this army will push on north and take up Louisiana. Oh, we asked at war with Spain, actually. So, this force will head to Bilbao. You will recruit a sixth rate. And ferry them back across the Atlantic. And then let's get to oh yeah, yeah, farmland. Lots of good recruitment. That's my line infantry being done. That militia unit's going to be ready to guard, guard Corpus Christi. Um. Yes, that army's going to come back over from the US and land and take Florida. This army's going to move up and take up Louisiana, and I'm going to start moving into the, uh, the Northern American region. And I think... Let's go. So let's do just a bit of a general infrastructure check. Aha! Basic roads will not do. Was that Madrid? Did not have metal roads. I can't wait for Madrid to settle down. As I start to convert some of those happiness buildings to industrial buildings, we're going to make some tremendous amounts of cash. Consistent cash as well. Actually, en route, this army is going to pop up to uh, Iceland, capture Reykjavik, which is not going to be worth anything really, apart from it probably made another, build another dock to build naval to build like navies up here. Yeah, they'll take Iceland and then scoot back and cross over the Americas. 
Yep, you're very... Oh no, they took a British region. Even better. So let's get you into San Juan. No, let's get you over here, actually. Yeah, let's get Antigua. With a fairly lackluster army. They've got some... Ooh, foot guards, infantry, and grenadiers. Interesting. But this, this region is for the taking, so it's tempting for this army to go on quite a mission to scoot up, take Reykjavik, scoot down, take Martinique, and then land off the coast of Florida. Because I suspect they'll be sending their troops west to try to deal with me. But I can handle that. Anyway, looking at the timer, I think we've hit the end of this part. So, sorry for there not being a battle in this one, guys. It hasn't really been a good opportunity. Um, I've mostly been fighting against uh, weak, weak rebel and pirate armies without really having much of an, ob uh, much of an, obje uh, much of an objective. Um, spent a lot of money to make peace in in Europe, um, but hopefully it means that um, I can focus on the Americas and build up my economy. God, the Austrians do have some very elite units here. Swiss elite. Um, Swiss Guards, Swiss Line Infantry, Household Cavalry, then over here, so on Horse, Grenadier Guard, Dragoons. Yes, Austria's going to be a bit of a tr bit tricky, but so let's... And they're only at war with M uh, Württemberg, which hold Corsica? Yes. But it'd be interesting to see where they go. Hopefully they start scrapping with Prussia um, and leave me out of it. Um, but yes, anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.